Acclaimed chefs, local ingredients, and amazing meals delivered right to your doorstep. That's exactly what Crave Delivery has to offer. I caught up with James Beard winning chef Hugo Ortega to get the dish on his delicious meals. Chef Ortega, it's such an honor to talk to you, and we are so lucky because your restaurant, Mia Almeida Cantina, is opening in Boise, and we actually get to enjoy your amazing meals through Crave Delivery. So why did you decide to partner with Crave Delivery? Well, um, uh, Melissa, thank you for uh, inviting me to your program. Uh, Crave, Crave is an entire new um, of Promises dining room. They offer the very best on the liver, uh, along with the, their system, that they have come up with it and reinvent. So the delivery is a, a none to none a, exists into this point. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing opportunity to have access to such phenomenal meals from people like you. You are a James Beard winner and you've been nominated six times in a row for this amazing accolade. So tell us about your journey to this award. Well, I mean, it's just a start by um, immigrating you know to the states at some point back in uh, in the 84 85 when i came to the states and just like you know most immigrants my first generation immigrants so um, i just um, start to think that this was the land opportunity and still for many of us and uh, back in those days uh, the great ronald reagan gave us the opportunity to uh, get a visa uh, through the through the immigration on 1980, 80, 1980, and so that's how it became um, you know part of my life to come here to uh, to in many ways live the American dream. And and you you are you are living that dream, my friend. And we are so blessed that you are so, doing so because now we get to enjoy your incredible talents. And through Mia Almira Cantina, um, tell us, you know, what are what are some of your top menu items that we get to enjoy? Well, we have a quite a small menu, and uh, the most important thing about this is that I would love to come back many times over here to uh, Boise. Uh, it's a beautiful city here. So, um, and change the menu. But right now we're going to uh, offer queso flameado as an appetizer, uh, guacamole, and then uh, for enter, uh, enter or main dish, we, we have um, a square steak or fajita, we call it carne brava, and we roast it. Uh, Melissa, what is important about the Mexican food and, um, is to the techniques. It's um, labor intense, uh, we roast the ingredients and um, um, we use uh, um, extract the, the the flavor of these ingredients. Uh, I was uh, explaining, you know, Susano, uh, uh, what is going to be a line cooks. He said, Chef, this is just an onion and a tomato. And I say, yes, this is what it is. And uh, the recipe say, cook your onion into translucent. So we still cook the onion five minutes later. Uh -huh. I say, you know, so you can see the translucent in what is one thing and put the proper technique to it to develop more flavor. It's a completely different thing. And that comes with experience and technique. My grandmother was in a tremendous cook in the mountains in Oaxaca. And that's where I uh, you know, have the opportunity to live with her for over three years. And that's what I learned, you know, how to develop flavor. Yes, for as simple as a roasted onion or roast a tomato. Chef Ortega, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate you sharing your, uh, your amazing story.